all of you must remember, do not kill him, I want him alive. I have created this pan-sized stun gun for you to use. Use it wisely. Affirmative. Remember, this is bandit country. Shoot everything that moves. That's a solid copy. Area clear. Stick together. Covering. Move it! Move it! Stay sharp.
Alright, listen up. You have electrocuted the target with a pen sized stun gun, but why is he still standing? The problem you are facing right now is that a regular pen sized stun gun cannot produce enough output to knock him down. I have analyzed the situation. The amount of voltage needed to make a current flow into a human's body depends on the resistance of their skin. It is estimated that a normal adult's skin has a resistance of around 5 million ohms. This guy's skin must have more resistivity. Therefore, we need to increase the voltage of the pen stun gun to make a current flow through his body. A small current of 6 to 30 milliamperes is enough to deliver a painful shock to knock him down. A better transformer is needed to increase the voltage output. I have created a better transformer with new factors being taken care of. I use a saw iron as the transformer's core for its high magnetic permeability. Now, the transformer can easily magnetize and demagnetize without consuming too much power. I also have increased the number of turns at the secondary winding, thus increasing the number of flux lines and so the amount of the magnetic flux generated. I have evaluated this entire scenario. A stun gun with enough voltage can paralyze the attacker with paralyzing electric shock. Just a brief contact with the stun gun output voltage and he will get an electric shock that temporarily paralyzes him to deter further attacks. Stun gun is a battery powered device, hence it cannot stand a continuous usage for a very long period of time. This is where the soft iron core comes in, to conserve the power consumption. Transformer needed a constantly moving current to function properly. Without the moving current, a transformer will only work for a split second, then stop working in the next. This is why we need to conserve the power consumption to keep the current flowing. Based on the formula that is known as the transformer equation, it simply stated that the ratio of the secondary to primary voltage in a transformer equals the ratio of the number of loops in their coils. The output voltage of a transformer can be less than, greater than or equal to the input voltage depending on the ratio of the number of loops in their coils. A step-up transformer is one that increases the voltage, whereas a step-down transformer decreases the voltage. Conventional stun guns have a fairly simple design. They are about the size of a flashlight. The circuit includes multiple transformers and components that boost the voltage in the circuit. Remember that I am making a pen-sized stun gun. This is why I need to increase the number of turns in the secondary coil of the transformer rather than adding multiple transformers in the circuit, simply to keep the stun gun small in size. I have finalized my decision. With all the new information obtained on how to make a better transformer, I will make a stun gun with a soft iron as the core of its step-up transformer. This would handle the problem of the stun gun consuming much energy. I also use only one transformer with a high secondary to primary number of turns ratio to avoid using multiple transformer. This will save some space and keep the stun gun small in size. The stun gun may be small in size, but it is strong enough to deliver a deadly shock that smashes a big stun gun. The size of my stun gun that is no bigger than a pen will provide more mobility and versatility to their user.